Now to those new photos from inside the Bristol County House of Corrections. Look at this, the damage caused during that major incident at the facility on Friday. Meanwhile, 20 inmates face charges in connection with all this destruction. NBC 10 Bristol County News Chief Jody Reed is live for us in Dartmouth to explain why prison officials are not calling this a riot. What gives, Jody? Despite the destruction caused on Friday here at the Bristol County House of Corrections, Sheriff Paul Harrow isn't calling it a riot because he says violence wasn't the driving factor. A riot by definition needs violence and this could have become a riot. It definitely could have if the COs hadn't lock this down. The staff at the Bristol County House of Corrections is being applauded for logging down a control panel that would have let inmates access an outside courtyard and potentially the roof of the building. If they hadn't shut down that control panel and the inmates let themselves out and then you have everybody outside in the courtyard and you've got correctional officers tackling um, inmates trying to regain control, then that would have become a use of force. The inmates would have physically fought back and then we could call it a riot. While the inmates were locked inside the two units, they caused more than $200,000 worth of damage. During this time, the inmates communicated with correctional officers and made demands for things like new TVs and cheaper canteen prices, neither of which they got. Even though I responded to their demands, I wanted to at least make sure I did my job and tried to de-escalate the situation. Sheriff Harrow made the decision to call in backup, and once additional officers arrived from Plymouth, Barnstable, and Hampton counties, they were able to get the two units under control using tear gas and pepper spray. Officers handcuffed the inmates and brought them outside one by one. They cleared the unit and found numerous weapons inside, including shanks and clubs. Thankfully, they weren't used against any of the correctional officers, but Sheriff Harrow has a message for inmates that may think of doing something like this again or doing something worse. Please don't do this again. It's not going to go well for you. It's not because the, the 20 people who are the ringleaders saying we're not leaving our housing units. Guess what? You left the county. Now, the 20 inmates that uh, were instrumental in starting this incident will face additional charges, and Sheriff Harrow said he's working with the district attorney to find a way to have these inmates pay back some of the damage that they caused. In Dartmouth tonight, Jody Reed, NBC10 News. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC10. Thank you for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, Hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.